So after uploading yesterday's video where I built a heap of PCs, a lot of people were asking where I get my Windows 10 Pro keys from. A lot of people were also really OCD about the IO Shield. And guys, I can't install an IO Shield that I don't have. It didn't come with the motherboard when I bought it. But if you guys want a cheap Windows 10 key, this is what I do. I just simply go onto eBay and find the cheapest seller available. And in this case, it happens to be a guy called Fast Codes. I've actually been using him for a few months. He sells codes for $1.99 a pound or quid. And that in USD terms is about $2.80, I think. Very cheap for a legit Windows 10 X64 Pro license. Now it is a little bit funny because when I log on to the eBay.com and the eBay.com.au, they're the different eBay sites, the codes are actually a little bit more expensive there. I actually found the cheapest codes to be on the eBay.co.uk website. So maybe this guy is getting them really cheap at wholesale and he's even selling them to websites like those CD key sites. Now one thing I will give you guys a tip on is if you buy one of these CD keys, use them straight away. In the past, and I'm not gonna name the website's name, I have bought a Windows 10 license and I didn't use it until a couple of months later and then it didn't work. So I would recommend getting these keys, using them straight away. And so when I build PCs, I'll usually order a heap of these keys, depending on how many I'm building, use them straight away and I'm always good to go. I haven't had one problem with eBay sellers yet. And they do come in, in my opinion, the cheapest out of any sellers. I wouldn't even be surprised if some of these websites are buying keys from these eBay sellers and then selling them on their own websites and marking it up three or 400%. And now I'm sure there's gonna be people asking about the validity of these keys, but I'm not 100% certain on where they come from. All I know is that when I put the key into Windows and go to activate it, it works. Windows says that I've got a legit uh, license of Windows 10X64 Pro, and I'm home and hosed. Also on that note, you can get these keys, go to the Microsoft website, and if you've got a USB key that's big enough, you can then make a creatable bootable drive and then you can install Windows even with the latest creators updates. So it saves a lot of time, it's hassle-free, and of course, it doesn't set you back much at all, especially if you're into flipping and selling PCs. You can get these keys very cheap, and they're legit too. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, then be sure to hit that like button and let me know in the comment section below, how do you get your Windows 10 licenses or do you still use Windows 7 or Windows 8? Love reading your thoughts and opinions as always. And if you haven't already, don't forget to hit that sub button and turn on email notifications if you want the latest videos dropping in your email box as soon as possible. Because apparently YouTube is sometimes not sending my videos to the viewers sub boxes, which is really weird. I don't know what's going on there, but tomorrow I will be dropping this 35 inch ultra wide monitor review for you guys, testing the input lag and all that goodness. And I'll catch you in another tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Bye. Also, I'll leave the link in the description below for the seller that I'm using to get my keys off. Uh, there does look like there are some sellers coming in a little bit cheaper. I'm honestly not too game to try them because I'm really happy currently with the uh, seller that I'm purchasing the keys off. Haven't had one problem, and as long as that keeps going the way it's going, I'll just keep using them. Really happy with the prices. Anyway, guys, see you later. Bye.